all right youtube this is your boy the virus system and here today we are to do the chiri chiri chara chara it has actually been a while since i posted um a video on my channel with my own voice but here today i am with you with my own voice to do a tutorial i posted ps2 sorry ps i posted ps store on my blog and somebody commented that the virus please do a tutorial on how to build this particular app so i decided to take a little time out of my busy schedules to do that tutorial tonight and it's currently 11 39 p.m in ghana here and today is 24th november 2019 as i'm doing this tutorial so this is my c panel what we are going to do is that we're going to set up the back end first but before we do that let me tell you something there is this good friend of mine kumar who has given me the hosting to host my website which is the virus systems.com and then this is his website he's into web hosting if you need a good web hosting please don't hesitate to call him contact him right now as you can see his url syncoms.com and this is a subdomain for hosting that is his number on the screen and support on the screen don't hesitate to call him for the best hosting that you can get so let's get back to what i was talking about now we are going to learn how to set up the back end of ps store e-comment mobile app first before we move to android studio to learn how to build this particular app so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to um create um a subdomain for this back end of this application that we will be building on android studio so what i'll do is that i'll go down to um subdomain i know by now you should know how to do this you should know how to create what a subdomain but um for the benefit of doubt let me just do it for all of us to see so now this is my subdomain that i'm creating so i hit on what the create button to create what my subdomain for me so subdomain is created now the next thing we need to do is to start uploading what the back end of ps store e-comment mobile app onto our subdomain so i have it here on my desktop here as you can see on my desktop here it's lying down here um all right sorry i've just have it here and this is version 2.0 version 2.0 Oh, but the one on my blog is version 1.9 so please sorry for not able to upload the latest version for now so just keep it that way it's good for you doctor advice stay healthy all right so let's move i have this extracted onto my pictures folder i have it here this is the back end with sample data and i've zipped the file already so i'll go to my c panel sorry for that um go back to uh, my menu then I'll go to file manager. Then I will locate what my sub 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 domain that I've created. So where is my sub domain? Um, PS2, PS2. Let me see. PS2, PS2 is here. So PS2 is here. So I'm going to upload um, um my back end script onto what my C panel. So I'll hit on the upload button, browse, and then I'll go to pictures folder, PS um, store then admin panel then i'll select ps store admin panel so let's give it some few minutes to upload and then after uploading this file i will be right back to continue with the tutorial but before that let me switch to um creating a database whereby we can import the sample data whilst we still have that time for the script to load where if we're able to finish uploading the database and the script is still loading then we'll give you some time to finish loading so i'll go back to um my c panel then i'll go down to uh, my sql database then i'll select that database and i'll create a database called ps um, store then i hit on the create button then i need to assign a username for this database that will give it privileges for the system to be able to access what the data files that are stored in this database so now these are my user names i have username here which is the virus s underscore avenash and then the database is called the virus s underscore ps store so that is the database i want if it was a database i'll hit on the database and select a database but i'm using this database and if i was having more than two usernames i will select the particular user that i want to assign to this particular database 
Batangod is just what? One username and two database. And the database I'm going to use is what the virus s underscore what ps store. So let's hit on the add button to add privileges to this database. So we are going to select all privileges. So all these privileges can be applied to this database. So you can alter, create a database, delete database, create event index, and so forth and so on. So we hit on what? The make changes button. And then that will assign these privileges to that particular database. So remember, if you skip this step, your PHP script will not be able to access your database to retrieve the data in it. So this part is very important for you. So keep that in your head. So let's switch back to um, my C panel. And then we'll go to PHP my admin where we're going to import the sample database into the database we have just created some few minutes ago and assign privileges to that particular database. So let's go back to um, the virus S underscore PS2 database. Then we'll go to import. And then I'll go to choose file. Then we are here. We move one step backwards and we have sample data here. Then I'll select the sample data, scroll down, then hit on the go button. So let's also give you some few minutes to upload the sample data into the database. And after that, We'll learn how to configure the database to work with our database um our php script to connect with what our database so the database is still uploading so let's give you some few minutes i'll be right back when the database is done so yeah the database is done uploading and then now we are waiting for our script to also upload so let's go to our script to see where we are 15 percent so i will give you some time and after it uploading and it's complete i will be right back to continue with the tutorial so stay tuned with the virus system until this script is done uploading i'll be back all right so youtubers i'm back again our script has finished uploading so now what we need to do is we hit on the go back to the home page of the virus system on the public folder where we have the ps store folder there so i hit on go back and then that will take us back to um our page here that we have our script so now what we are going to do is that we are going to extract what our script and configure what the database file so that it will access what the database so let's right click on it then we hit on the extract button and then it's telling that it's going to extract it onto this folder which is found in what the public underscore html folder to as well i said okay go ahead and extract it so we are waiting for the extraction to finish very soon very soon chiri chiri chara chara it is done extracting so now what we need to do is that we just have to refresh our folder to see the content that has been extracted you know you are running it um on live server so sometimes there might be a little delay sorry for that um i have my ps store folder here then i'll open my application folder then go down to config folder then i'll come to my database file my database file so i hit on my database file then hit on the edit button and then hit on edit again and that loads my database file for me so now the database we have created is called was the virus s underscore what ps um store so i'll just copy the name here then i'll go and paste it there database database is here so I'll override this with my database name and then my username is the virus um the virus s underscore avenash so i'll paste the same thing and then rename it to avenash and my database password i'll be changing it after this tutorial so for now i'm using one two three four five six so six i'll save the file and then close the file as well and then i'm done with my database configuration so now i should be able to access what my ps store back end right now so let's jump into what access what the back end yeah so this is a new tab so i'm going to type ps store dot the virus system dot com then hit on the enter key and that is going to load my page for me so after loading my page, I need to sign into my database. So what I'll do is that um, the username is admin at ps.com. And then the password is admin as well. So I'll log into my system. 
and boom we are inside the back end of the software so here you can do your configuration and that is going to reflect on your android app you have entries where you can add categories subcategories create discount blocks products and collections coupons discount shipping methods countries and cities and zones to us well so the rest you can follow them whilst we switch to android studio to learn how to build this particular app in android studio so let's open android studio so i'll go to the start button then navigate down then i look for android studio then i hit on android studio to load android studio so let me minimize all these things away from screen so that we can proceed with android studio building so let's give you some few minutes for android studio to load and after that i will be back to continue with the tutorial